when your opponent comes to the net on you in singles, I want you to hit two shots. First, make your opponent volley. Half the time, they'll mess it up. The second shot, I want you to pass down the line. First, let's watch this point, then we'll diagram it. So this is number one for University of Texas, and this is USC's number one. So the serve comes in, obviously a second serve, because you can see the returner is way inside the court. And right here, the player from Texas gets the USC player in trouble. In fact, this is like kind of almost a squash shot or a modified squash shot, where he's got kind of a volley grip, which allows you to play the ball late, and he chips it. Now, when your opponent crushes a ball to the corner, you're basically assuming that they're going to come in and attack. And that's what happens. When the USC player hits this shot, he's not trying to hit a pass or a wonderful shot. He's just trying to force the opponent to have to hit a volley. Now that the volleyer is hit and the baseliner now has a shot where he can go for, you know, a lob, a passing shot right at the opponent, he notices, hey, the opponent's pretty close to the net. So going right at them probably isn't the best thing. Because, you know, he's still, you know, behind the baseline. The opponent's going to have a lot of time. And it's tough to dip the ball down low to him. Or he could go for a lob. But it, a lob typically, especially at this level, can be often risky. Because your opponent can move back so quickly and hit an overhead off of it. So in this situation, he's going to decide, all right, I'm going to go for a passing shot. In my experience, most passing shots in recreational tennis are attempted cross court. It is a much more difficult shot. It is a much smaller window. What I would recommend is that you hit most of your passing shots down the line. It forces your opponent to have to move straight to their side to get to the ball because if you hit cross court, they can actually move forward and intercept that. But when you pass down the line, they actually have to move laterally to get to that ball and most people are not quick with that movement. The passing shot goes down the line and it's wide open. All right, let's watch this point one more time. Now, if you're looking for specific strategies on how to beat your toughest opponents, then you need to pick up the Singles Playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Over 50 pages of professional strategies. These are the exact strategies that the pros use to beat their opponents. You can now use these strategies too. And the book is broken down by the different opponents that you play against because you want to use different strategies against different playing styles. Pushers, counterpunchers, aggressive baseliners, serve and volleyers, Dr. Feelgood, those are people who put a lot of spin on the ball. All court players and how to beat lefties. It's all broken down by the opponent, how to serve and return and rally against these players, how to attack them. This book is awesome. You can grab the book using my link in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. And if you're looking for people in your local area, more people to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. When your opponent attacks you in singles, make them volley. They come forward, give them a volley. Half the time, they're just going to screw it up. And when they don't screw it up, and they do force you to hit another ball, I want you to hit most of your passing shots down the line. The down the line passing shot in singles is the superior passing shot. When your opponent's at the net and they're coming forward, let me say it this way, when they're coming forward, to be honest, most of your opponents don't have a perfect split step. A perfectly timed and executed split step is vital to them making the directional change in order to get your down the line passing shot. Most of them are just gonna come forward and then you can just pass them down the line as they're coming in. When you go cross court, you often end up just hitting the ball into them because they're cutting it off by moving forward. So hitting the ball down the line, it makes it so easy to pass them because they have a tough time getting over. And when you go cross court too often, it can be tough to really dip the ball down into the service box, which is where most cross court passing shots must land. So we end up making the ball go into the doubles alley and we miss. The next time you're playing singles and your opponent comes to the net, hit your first shot right to them. If they get that ball over the net and now you have to hit a second shot, go for the passing shot down the line. And if you do, there's no doubt. 
You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.